Melanie here with Eyes on the Game, being joined by the one and only one of the most exciting fighters on the planet, the highlight, Justin Gaethje. Now, what brings you back to Las Vegas? Uh, Ali called me, said he had a bunch of guys, Otman, Abu, um, you know, guy from a uh, Dutch kickboxer, one of, you know, high-level Dutch kickboxers. So Kamaru's out here. So I figured we'd just come out and get some good training in. You know, punch each other in the face. And we are right near the Raiders Stadium. I know you're a huge Raiders fan. Have you driven by and kind of checked it out yet? Yeah, I have. I've actually um, probably dreamed five times of fighting in there with, uh, you know, close to 100,000 people. So can't wait. Well, I do know that you want to make that return and fight for that title. You are ranked number one right now. You told the Schmo that if it is Dustin versus Connor, the winner of that fight, um, who do you think takes that fight, though? I don't know, man. This is uh, this is uh, two really high level fighters. Um, Cook, you know, Connor's really good. Connor's really good. I do see uh, him probably winning. Um, I don't know. It'll be uh, interesting to see if Dustin rises to the occasion. Well, their first fight was in the featherweight division, one forty five. Now being at one fifty five, who do you think it favors more? Wait, one more time. Oh, you're saying the last time one forty five? Yeah. Um. I don't think that's an issue. Yeah. I think it's, uh, you know, what's different is their mindsets, you know, because of the places they are, the places they've gone since then. They're much different people since that fight, you know, both of them. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. And we did see you back in Fight Island. What could you take away the most from your fight against Habib? Uh, you know, losing sucks. Uh, you never want to lose. Every time... Um, you know, I never became complacent and I never would at this level, but, you know, winning is comfortable and it's good to be uncomfortable sometimes. So I get to be uncomfortable right now and I get to push myself to the, to the next one. So that's what uh, I took the most from it. Now, I just mentioned Habib. A lot of people consider him one of the greatest fighters. I'm curious to know, who do you rank as your MMA GOAT? You know, I don't. It's such a hard discussion. If you're going to have a discussion, I think you'd have to do it by era because, uh, for one, the eras are so different. The style of fighting is so different, you know, from 92 to 2002 and then so forth, you know, and so on. So, um, I don't know. You know, Hoist Gracie, obviously, yeah. is a uh, first-generation GOAT. Um, you know, Matt Hughes, GSP, all those guys that really freaking made us fall in love with the sport, you know, at the very beginning. Uh, in 2002, in 2003, 2004, uh, there's a lot of guys, and again, you can't really compare the two, you know, two two today's fighters because the sport is so different. But um, you know, I'd say GSP uh, on merit alone. Yeah. Very well said, and I think a lot of people would agree with you. Uh, in 2021, the Ultimate Fighter Season 29, that's making its return. I know you were a coach on Season 26. Is there any two fighters in particular that you would want to watch coach that season? Nah, no, not in particular. I haven't, uh, I love the fighting part of this game, you know, not so much the entertainment. So, yeah, you know, I don't fall. I, I, I mean, I want to see, uh, new and, but there's so many avenues for athletes to get in the UFC now. So, um, you know, I want to see another one, you know, I love to see people get their chance, uh, fighting such a unique sport in that, you know, you just need that opportunity and not, you know, the best guy doesn't always win, but, um, so anybody can become successful in a way, uh, specifically these people that, you know, are coming through a path like that, that never thought they'd have their chance. So it's cool to see those stories. Yes, and everyone can't wait to watch you return in the Octagon. Lastly, though, with the holidays coming up, I know you're very family-oriented. I love that, and I love all your posts about your nieces and nephews. So do you have any holiday plans? Uh, my airline, tic tickets, uh, airline tickets are cheap right now, so I think my, my sister uh, is going to bring her kids up, her and her, her, and her husband, come up, and uh, day after Christmas, I think they're going to come visit. So it'll be cool. Yeah, well, you're a great uncle. So thank you so much for your time, and we can't wait to watch your return. Awesome. Thank you.